Hello guys, great to see you all again. Awesome having you back here with me. Today, we're gonna to be looking at primary research uh, methods. So when you carry out uh, research, there are various methods that you can use to collect the data. Okay, so we're gonna look at uh, some various types today and they will include observation, they'll include an interview, Okay, and also a questionnaire and survey. So these are what we call primary uh, research kind of tools that you're going to use to to gain to collect uh, the data for your research uh, project, right? So let's look at the first one then: observation, right? <laughs> okay. So observation is when you are literally observing people, what they are doing, right? So you're looking at people the mannerisms, or how they behave perhaps, the way they do things, and then you're kind of recording it, right, for your uh, research. Now there's two types of uh, observations. One is covert, so like a sniper, okay? You know, a sniper cannot be seen, well, most of the time, all right? And the sniper maybe is collecting data or information from, from the enemy, okay? So the enemy cannot see that, that sniper, all right? So it's what we call covert, when someone cannot actually see you, all right? So when some not, someone cannot see you, we call it covert, right? Or you're taking pictures, uh, the way people are acting or behaving, and those people cannot actually see what you are doing. They don't actually know that you are there. So that's what we mean by covert. And the benefit of covert observation is that people will act naturally, right? Because they, you know, they're not uh, aware they're being observed or looked at. When you normally know that you're being observed or looked at by people, you may behave a little bit more differently. So on the opposite side, we have what we call um, overt. Overt, kind of opposite of covert, is people are aware that you are there and observing them and writing down information. So over it, people know that you're there, okay, and are aware that you're taking any data or any information from them. Uh, one drawback about this is that sometimes people may behave differently if they know they're being observed or if they're being looked at. They may not behave in a natural way because they know, right, they're being looked at by, by other people. All right, so that's the first uh, uh, primary data collection tool that you can use for collecting data it's observation now let's move on to uh, the second one now the second uh, one is what we would call an interview now interview is when you you know you're you're speaking with someone you're asking information that you're going to use then for your research so we call this an interview now uh, there's various types of questions you can ask in an interview. For example, you can ask what we call uh, closed questions. And closed questions are kind of questions where you just want a simple yes or no answer. So for example, uh, do you drink coffee? It's either a yes or either a no, right? Or you can ask what we call open-ended questions. And open-ended questions will generally you know, create a conversation. For example, um, what do you think of the health benefits of coffee? All right, so that person will be able to describe perhaps what they think are the health benefits of coffee, if there are any. Okay, so it'll generate a bit more conversation. So you can use those two types of question sets, open and also close questions. When you're interviewing someone face to face, for example, you know, in order to, to get data for your uh, research question. Always a good idea to use both, don't just use one. I'd always uh, mix and match, use open-ended and also closed uh, uh, questions as well for your uh, interviews. Now the other data collection tool that you can use for your primary research is uh, what we call a questionnaire or, or a survey. And this is most convenient when you have quite a lot of people uh, that you want to get data from. And there's various platforms that you can use, like SurveyMonkey, and also you can use uh, uh, Google uh, Forms as well. You can have a look at the tutorials that will come shortly of how to actually use uh, Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. But this is a good way 
of getting a lot of data, a lot of information from various participants. There's various uh, ways you can structure the questions. For example, you can use uh, multiple choice kind of questions. Uh, you can use a Likert scale type of questions uh, as well. And you can use open type of questions and also closed uh, questions when you construct and make your uh, questionnaire there. All right, guys, uh, those are some tips that you can use, some tools, uh, some methods there to collect your uh, research, right? To collect your, your data for your research uh, essay. Awesome. Take care and do check uh, the next tutorial, which will be a short screencast on how to use uh, Google Forms and SurveyMonkey in constructing a questionnaire. Awesome. Take care and see you soon. Many battles are lost, but you never reach the end of the road while you're traveling with me.